When making a drawing or a painting of a 2D image, in this case a photograph, it's sometimes good to use a, a grid technique to recreate the drawing. Uh, using a grid helps proportions, um, it helps alignments, and it takes the attention away from the subject matter. It allows you to focus on shapes, forms, values, textures in little bite-sized pieces. So what I've done here is I've used a black pen to recreate a grid over this image. The image is eight inches by nine inches and I've gridded off uh, squares of half inch by half inch. So I end up with 16 half inch squares across which equals eight inches across by 18 half inch squares going down which equals nine inches going down. And now what I'll do is I'll recreate a grid on a sheet of drawing paper with the same exact number. It, it, I can also increase or decrease the size of the squares. As long as I've got 16 by 18, I can make it any size I want. I've recreated the small grid from the black and white photograph now onto a large sheet of drawing paper. The small image is 8 by 10 with half inch squares, which comes to 16 rows by 18 rows. The large image I've blown up to one inch squares. So I've got 16 across by 18 down still, but they're one inch by one inch as opposed to half inch by half inch squares. Now I can count my rows and find each individual square on the smaller image and just focus in on that individual square one at a time and build my drawing that way. It really takes the attention off of the whole. It gives you these bite-sized pieces to work in. And if you're really committed to what's happening in each individual square, you can really make a, an in-proportion picture um, the, with good alignments, with good proportions, with, with accurate shapes. Because again, you're really just focused in on little individual sections and another advantage is you could turn it upside down and work on it if you needed to or sideways which is what I'm doing right now I'm working on it sideways um, so I've drawn the grid very lightly and that is because at the end I may want to erase it and um, to not show show that grid in the final final product and um, so this is a great technique. You can um, do this in painting also. Um, and um, it's, it's a great technique to, to get really, really accurate proportions in an artwork. Uh, Chuck Close um, is a great American painter who uses grids exclusively in his portraits. And he talks about how it's about those bite-sized pieces. If he's not worried about the whole and just worried on little squares and um, little in the shapes that make up each of those squares, he can get a, 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 a sometimes perfect photorealistic looking image without really the stressing out about how it's building and shaping up because um, the commitment is one square at a time.